All right, Renee. Yes, you sir. must have in the back of your head something amazing that Apple's going to release this year. Anything? Well, I mean, they they released two new products and two new app stores last year. So I think, you know, it's it's not going to be new amazing stuff this year. It's going to be the year where they try to make everything they released last year. Consolidation. Better. It'll be a consolidation yeah. year. Okay. Like, again, like the iPhone was, well, iPod touch, uh, sorry, iPod was what, 2001? iPhone was 2007. Um, I'm going to predict 2010. new amazing designer watch bands. <laughs> <laughs> or new materials. I mean, there's titanium, there's there's platinum. There's all sorts of things that they can do once they're in the watch base. And design, it, like <laughs> Tommy Hilfiger or uh, Michael Kors, uh, there's a lot of pot potential there. <laughs> I think a Tommy Hilfiger Apple Watch in your future. <laughs> uh, Yves Saint Laurent. I mean, they got the Yves Saint Laurent team. Yeah. You have to yeah. figure yeah. out no, so, but, that we can charge more money just by sticking another logo on it. <laughs> well, that's what they no did features, with, no new CPU, that's what they did no with new the storage. Hoyers, it's it? funny. Well, I laughed about the um, the Hermes watch, and then yeah. I, I went to Hermes uh, Hermes's website to, to fact check it. Well, no. So, like, the, the Hermes Dublator, the one that Apple sells, yes. is around $1,000. The Hermes Dublator without an Apple watch is, like, $3,000. What? Well, what? So yeah, Apple talked about it. Like, yeah, I mean, it's like if you want to hurt Hermes, <laughs> so it's, so it's a bargain. Basically, you you thought it was you thought it was pretty uncalled for that Apple was kicking you in the nuts until you went to the store. Actually, Hermes will kick you in the nuts three times. So that's like a savings of two kicks in the nuts. <laughs> it's a designer nut. Kick. How about I mean, how about <laughs> how about it leaves, it leaves such a wonderful logo in the bruise. <laughs> I think it's time for Apple to update the MacBook Air with uh, some influence of the MacBook. So I'd love to see Type C. By the way, two Type Cs, Apple. The Air like, or the Pro Leo, because the Air might go away in favor. You of You think the, the Air will the go Mac. away, and they'll yeah, I think they'll, eventually. they'll professionalize or upgrade the MacBook to be the thin and light. It does seem sort of like, like they how don't really the Air need replaced that. the original MacBook. Yeah, this will replace yeah. the Air. And the MacBook Pro, I think, is still uh, the 13-inch MacBook Pro. As you're saying, Andy, is still a fantastic machine. Yeah, I mean, when, you, when you're talking about again, we get back to the difference between uh, uh, making devices for a subset of the people out there and having to make a device for everybody. And the 13-inch notebook that has a real keyboard, that has an assortment of ports, that has a big battery, and has at least the possibility that you can do more stuff with it a year from now than it comes out of the box, that's still the meat and potatoes of the industry. I mean, Apple still can, Apple still has the old uh, CD, DVD drive uh, MacBook with the retina screen on the price list because people still need to have those things. And so if, they're, if they weren't selling them, if they weren't meeting a need, Apple would not make them anymore. So, yeah, I mean, if, if, any, if uh, I, I think that's going to take... Um, maybe another year or two for Intel to ship the right the right yeah. chips and the right quantities. Yeah. But I think that the that there's a there's a there's a red laser dot like on the <laughs> swimming on the forehead of the MacBook Air that you know that the, the the target is in sight. They're just awaiting orders to pull the trigger. Yeah, With their... pricing, they got to get the price down because the, the MacBook Air starts at nine hundred now, and they need something yeah, that's yeah. at that category. Whither the Mac Mini? No, I don't think so. It'll get a bump. It'll get no, whatever we use a lot of Mac Minis. Oh my god, you're the only one. I don't think so. So anything no, that you I, want to rack right mount, anything that you want to rack mount that uses a Mac, unless you really want to turn those. We have a couple of them that we. Unless you really want to turn the the garbage cans on on their side and turn. You know, you can put I think two or three of them across. The Mac Minis are. Do you are think this, they're selling any more garbage cans at all? No, I don't know. We don't use them that What's heavily. What's the sales rate on the garbage cans? I don't can. think. I think they were. It's <laughs> not good. <laughs> no, I mean they, they need the new processors and they need yeah. the new. They need the five K. Uh, I, I literally have one as it, it is literally now a doorstop. Yeah, I don't. I, <laughs> which is embarrassing, but I don't know what else to do with it. Yeah. I'm not. Don't call me and write me and say send it to me, Leah. We actually had issues with performance with them. I did is, too. So it, like it's they, they just weren't. They weren't. Um, I replaced it with a five K iMac and I couldn't be happier. And we replace it. We we still find for online stuff like Hangouts and Skype or whatever. We found that the retinas were working better than the yeah. than the trash can, and so we we stopped. You know, so the trash cans are used for editing, um, but that's that's what they're mostly used for. Fifteen inch and MacBook Air? No. Do you think fifteen inch MacBook? <laughs> Fourteen inch MacBook? <laughs> Fourteen inch? Why not? <laughs> I'm just Sorry, just, just the idea of like now. a like make a MacBook Air super thin, but we'll also make it <laughs> 17 inch. <laughs> My God, it's big enough for the second pizza port. box. Actually, that's what this is, isn't it? It almost feels like it's I, a, I did an air. I did a, a the Mac, screen the share with my Pro. with my TV at home, and and uh, and my daughter said, "Is that is that a, a giant iPad?" And she's just like her six year old daughter, just like staring at it. She's like, "Is that?" It? And, and I said, "No, no, no. That's just my iPad on the screen." She goes. She looks at me. She goes. But wouldn't that be great? <laughs> wow. <laughs> she was just, wow. She was just you like, really brainwashed those kids. You could just kids. go up and touch the screen. Wow. <laughs> 
they stopped. This is the first TV that they have put fingerprints all over it because they didn't understand. You know, like when they were little, I had a T. They'd always hit the TV right and try to figure sure. out why it wasn't. It. You know, Daddy, why doesn't the TV do pinch and zoom? The touchscreen is broken. I still zoom, and we just did it now. I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to zoom in on my YouTube video, and yeah. and Jason Cleanthus says, "Pinch it." No, it's YouTube. <laughs> you pinch, <laughs> pinch it, zoom Here's it. The trackpad. <laughs> I have so many fingerprints on like the left and right sides of my MacBook right now, all because of the amount of time I spend working right. on my iPad Pro. Well, I so I'm at the robot bar on this cruise ship on the Anthem of the Seas, and they have a robotic bar that mixes your drinks. And you're supposed to touch. You have a RF uh, bracelet that the cruise gives you. The they call it the Wow Band, and you're supposed to touch that to the tablet, mm -hmm. which is I'm sad to say not an iPad, but some cheap Android tablet. And I keep touching it with the Apple Watch, thinking, why doesn't this work? Why doesn't this work? I was supposed to do it. Darn it, Apple. Darn it, Apple. Well, and here's the question. So you have an Apple Watch. I have an Apple Watch. Andy, what are you using mostly? Uh, Moto 360. Moto yeah. 360. I, I, and I, have, I, have, I have one. I just don't wear it. It yeah, depends then, on the phone you carry, right? right? If you carry an Android phone, you use the watch. Moto 360. I'm the same way. And, and if then, I wear a, an Apple Watch when I have an Apple Watch. And Renee, you have, a, you have an Apple Watch? Yes. Now, here's the big thing is, is that, and, and I, because it was a big choice for me, I had a really nice Analog, analog watch that I gave up or semi I had analog. some very nice ones. It cost a lot of money, wear. more yeah. than my Apple Watch. Yeah. And and I gave it up. And now the question is, would you, regardless of the good and bad and everything else, would you ever go back to a regular watch from having I can't a... can't live without notifications now. I'm I know. Just, they've become central to my world. It would seem so limited. And I, I don't think I'm telling me the time and date. What good is that? I, Brief, frequent, important interactions have, have well, become dependent on. And it changes the yeah. time. For me, I change a lot of time zones. It changes the time autumn. You know, as soon as the the, the yeah. camp, you know it changes you get that. Off the plane. I have that is a nice feature, by I the have, way. I forgot about that. That used to be a pain in the butt. Uh, yeah. You get off the plane and you have to go. Mm, 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 mm. Now yeah. I just know. But, but yeah. But I'll, there's something that I really noticed now that I've been. I've I've now had like pretty much every single device that will throw notifications on your wrist on my wrist. And I got to say that the simple fact that it that a device puts a notification on your wrist, that's 85% of the feature. That I, I appreciate that, for instance, Apple Watch the notifications, they're cleaner, they're prettier, they have a little bit of animation about them. But that kind of, that kind of appreciation for me goes away like after after a few weeks and it's the way that the android wear watch works that i appreciate more yeah, than i agree with you uh, than actually. the apple and not and not only that but if i couldn't afford to have a, a real smart watch just the the, uh, the the garmin vivo smart which you can get for 110 111 dollars which is more like a it is even less uh, prominent than the uh, uh uh, then Microsoft Band, it really does look like just a standard, you know, slim little black fitness band. It just has an OLED uh, screen that lights up uh, very, very, very subtly. Even that would be at least 65% to 70% of the, of to me, as useful as the core features of the Apple Watch. Um, so it's, it's not as easy as simply producing a, de a device that's built 10 times better and works 10 times better. Again, it's you get back to the analogy I keep using all the time, which is for a lot of people, it's a Toyota Corolla. I put the key in, it starts, and once it starts and the car starts moving, I stop thinking about how good this car is. It's just there to get me from one place to another. And when you get when you get people started on notifications, they may not really care about the digital stem, and they may not care about the how it uh, takes your pulse rate, so long as it takes your pulse rate, uh, and all this other sort of stuff. I agree. I'll, with you, actually, I'll, I, I, I can I can use any. I'll, I'm just to wrap it up. I mean, I, I can use anything. And but it really was a factor uh, in switching back to Android that yeah. I actually would rather use an Android Wear watch than an Apple watch. Yeah, and that's no, I'm one with of the you. for me to switch back. Yeah. Um, are you gonna do? You, are you gonna look at the new the Moto 360 Sport comes out Wednesday? I'm gonna look at it uh, Thursday. I guess. That's, there, there's, there's, there's so many plays. things I really. There's so many things I really uh, admire about the Apple Watch, and one of them is that I can't believe that uh, I really want to say uh, if half of what I would say about how good the Apple Watch is is just the brilliance of that watch of that strap design, uh, just the ability yeah. to. Uh, I've got the here's the beautiful leather, legitimately beautiful leather band that came with my watch that didn't cost me an extra 150 bucks. But I mean, I would love to be able on a day where I know I'm going to be taking like a, a five or six mile walk, even just for that walk, just to simply swap it out with a plastic one. Right. So I don't like get this all coated with like stinky Andy salt. Uh, <laughs> but Andy, uh, you and I are stuff. big guys. And I think that uh, that's one advantage the Apple Watch has, at least, is that for smaller people and women particularly, 
I, I, don't, I can't see a lot of women wearing Moto 360 watches. They're just too clunky. Well, yeah, there there is that. This is I know this down to like the size of a large Apple Watch. I've seen I've seen this on. Oh, I got the forty six millimeter. I like big because I'm a big guy. So it, yeah, no, I, I I this is this is one of the reasons why I went out and bought this because I just this is to me yeah. is like the perfect size. It, it was it was a bit of a I got used to the larger size of the original Moto three sixty, but this now just feels like a, a regular watch on my list. I I, it, I believe it it feels even more like a regular watch than uh, the Apple Watch does because it's just oh, it's with, round. It's with, it's it's got more. The the, uh, the faces have more. Style. I'm in a similar situation now. I really, I, in fact, I'm looking forward to this sport version because it has built-in GPS. But now, because of the battery now. life on the iPhone, I don't want to. So now yeah. I act like, oh man. <laughs> and me, I guess you can use this with an iPhone, what, but it's what, not what, the same. What a, what a great problem to have! So much yeah. choice and so many devices that work great that you like different things about. It. Yeah, Doctor like Mom says. Go ahead. I was going to say, I like the integration because the activity on my watch that I can check it on my phone as well. Apple Pay just shows up. Anything I have in wallet yeah. just shows up when I want to use it. Uh, all it, It's not just notifications, but it's all the apps that use those notifications. So it, it sort of, it just really takes my iPhone and like a little imperial shuttle puts it on my <laughs> wrist for what I need most. That's really what it's it like is. like the destroyer and then the yeah. shuttlecraft. Dr. Mom says, uh, as a woman, she wears the Asus Zen watch too, which is kind of thin and... Uh, Less less clunky. Um, I like the fact that I can just that my watch is there and watch TV and my phone somewhere in the house and it rings and I can decide whether yes, I'm going to go cool. find my phone or not. Like I can but hear again, the phone ringing and I'm like, that's something. No, any I'm smart go watch is going to do something like that, right? Uh, you can't answer, Andy. You can't answer the watch, the call on your uh, Android Wear watch only on the. Uh, you can't. You can't. Uh, uh, Android Wear does support that if it has a microphone and a speaker. Uh, uh, you can answer it on the phone. You can answer it on the watch. Uh, you can't on this, this model. You yeah. can't. You can't talk, have a conversation, right. but you can it's, basically answer it and then or just. I can't or, hear you. I will. I can't hear you. Using I'm talking to my watch, if, but if, I can't if, hear you. If, if you if you got like the WeWay watch, right. for instance, which is also 42 mm. Well, that has mic in it. Okay. That has a, that has a speaker and a mic, so okay. you can do the whole thing. I um, think that's one advantage that Android Wear has over Apple is the diversity of the ecosystem. In fact, uh, Huawei has just announced a women's version of its uh, watch, yeah. the Huawei Jewel. Uh, this is at CES, the Huawei Jewel and Elegant. Wow. Uh, so, I never want to want answer the see, phone on it because the, 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 really the, the new pink is like it used to be that. Oh, and we made a we made a, a ladies version of yeah, this toolbox right. too, and you just spray paint. Ladies it like pink. jewels. I think, <laughs> I think the new version is you just glue a whole bunch of fake. <laughs> fake <laughs> there's a, there's on a it. new Fitbit Blaze announced today too that looks like a hexagon shape. Oh, uh, that's interesting. interesting. They promise I think a couple of days of battery life. Uh, see, a couple of days doesn't. LG, if it's LG not a week, shipping. I don't. You know. Yeah. Uh, last year, LG started shipping in, in quantity actual like uh, batteries that are shaped kind of like a like a home, like home plate uh, base. So now to base to, to to satisfy the market of watchmakers who don't want to make square watches. So they do. A lot they, this Blaze does look a lot like an Apple Watch. I have to admit. Yeah. And the, the the CEO I think was trash talking Apple when he introduced it. So yeah, that's that, 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 how, that doesn't yeah that doesn't work. <laughs> Almost always a mistake. It is two hundred dollars. Yep. Um, which is certainly uh. An aggressive price point. And Fitbit um, has been as successful in the in the band market, at least. Yeah, have they? They have a variety of bands. Well, they've been selling the Fitbit bands pretty well. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, the fitness bands. Yeah, yeah they're the number one uh, fitness product out there. Not only that, but they'll probably get a lot of people who are stepping up from their. Uh, from, they'll they'll move their Fitbit from right. their right wrist to their left wrist. Right. I just like that there's competition that? because it makes everybody better. Yeah. Is this Android Wear? Do we know, or is it? Uh, I think it's Fitbit. It's just yeah. Fitbit. It's Fitbit OS. <laughs> Huh. Connected GPS, color touchscreen, on screen workouts, multi -sport. GPS I'd like in the next Apple Watch because I think it would be that would be nice. Yeah. Standalone GPS would be nice, yeah. Yeah. Uh, although I, I, I suspect that, that that's a battery killer and probably doesn't really get used all that much. Yeah. Well, it could be like the heart rate monitor where it's only ramped up if you specifically need it for some sort right. of like the way the iPhone 3G sort of tried to manage it right. as much as it could. Well, this integrates yeah, lot, with Fitstar. That's interesting. A lot of people have just so many different needs that they really don't as great and as ambitious as the Apple Watch is. They it doesn't it, if they don't use those features or if they it, it just doesn't speak to them. I mean, I was a little bit surprised. Uh, uh, Obama was on uh, Comedians and Cars getting coffee last week and uh well okay. the, the point of view the, the perspective of the of inside the car you could see him prominently wearing a fitbit surge oh uh, really on his, on his wrist oh, and i really would, and, huh. I, and i would think that 
I, I've seen some really fancy analog watches. I imagine this is what he wears around the White House because they don't let him. They, I'm sure they don't let him wear it like off the ground. <laughs> How many like, steps did I take between the residential quarters and the Oval Office? Yeah. Yeah. Or it's what's, a pacing what's my heart? Pacing what's my heart rate right while talking to, while, while <laughs> to, talking to, 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 to Putin. Putin? Yeah. Mr. President. Lord of the House. Take a breath. Uh, now this blaze is very interesting. I think I might. Uh, when did they say when it'd be available? Comes in black, blue, or purple. But that's just the band. Hmm. Yeah, this looks. Uh, this looks good. Ships in March. It says, hundred ninety nine bucks. And I and I presume it works with an iPhone or an Android yes. device. I would guess. And it says it does notifications. Smart notifications. See call and text notifications and calendar alerts on display. Auto sleep tracking, silent alarms, five-day battery life. Mm. So I love competition. I think this is yes. the greatest thing in the Absolutely. world. Absolutely. You know? Yep. Now I now I think Apple will do a watch too. Well, I think this is an area I think that they have to uh, iterate quickly. You know, they, yeah. they're going to do something. They're going to learn. They're going to do another one. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw one every spring and fall for Maybe. a while while they Maybe. while they make sure that, because I think that otherwise they fall behind. This is, they're doing special the industry is moving for Chinese quickly. New Year. They announced, well, they quasi announced that today. It's going to have special uh, rose gold, sorry, special gold and red Apple watches yeah. for Hong Kong, Singapore, China. Google announced a new Nexus 6P in gold. And yeah. guess, guess who's that? The for. markets are changing. But it's interesting because the Apple Watch is such a different product. The iPhone and iPad, famously, they were tablets and phones for 10 years before they made those. And this Apple, Apple didn't watch the experimentation phase. They entered it. And it's, it's unusual to see Apple sort of experimenting along with everybody else. Fitbit it's, it's, it's is, is doing bands, of uh, uh, leather and uh, link bands and so forth as, at an additional cost. This is a pretty, uh, you know, this is what, this is the market leader in fitness and uh, it makes sense that they would uh, do something. Now I'm going to be challenged. I don't know what to get. <laughs> you have two, you still you have two wrists, with my Leo. Phone. I got two wrists. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. can have three watches per wrist. That's six watches easy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>